Hey guys, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, I'm going to share my interview experience with DBS. This was a virtual hiring event which took place in the last week of July to hire ReactJS developers or leads. I received an email invitation with the link to register and the process started with online coding contest in HackerRank. There were around six questions, four were multiple choice questions on CSS and two were React based coding problems where uh, they gave two use cases and asked to develop a React component. And the time given for this round is 120 minutes for six questions. If you know the life cycle of a component or life cycle hooks in case of functional components, and if you know how to make an API call or consume data from JSON file, you can easily crack this round. You have to take care of the edge cases as well. Handling these cases like uh, data not loaded or data not found is important because they have test cases for each and every uh, edge case or scenario. So all my test cases were passed and I received a call from HR. He shared me the details of next round, which is a technical round. On the day of uh, the technical round, there was a small introductory session um, where one of the leaders from DBS gave insights on how DBS works and the progress it made in the last few years. Then I joined the interview slot, which was allotted to me. There were around, uh, there were two interviewers and one coordinator. The interviewer uh, started with uh, the self introduction. He asked me to talk about my project so that they could assess me on the relevant skills. And then one of the interviewers asked me to open code sandbox and he gave me an API URL. So he asked me to consume data from this API and uh, display a few properties in the form of a table. So I used uh, functional components and React hooks and I display table uh, with the requested context, content. I made sure of the edge cases as well. Uh, then the interviewer uh, continued with questions on React like um, how do I reuse code from one project and another project. Then the other interviewer asked about prop drilling. Can we have multiple package.json files in a single project? And then he asked, how will I remove duplicates from the list of data and sort it? I've written multiple ways of achieving this and he asked me to use any, uh, he asked me not to use any inbuilt JS methods for this question to remove the duplicate. So I gave him different possibilities here as well. And then he asked me about uh, parent-child communication, uh, how to pass data from parent to child and modify the data in child component without impacting the data in parent component. Uh, then he moved to HTML uh, and CSS uh, questions. So coming to CSS questions, uh, he asked me about uh, media queries, what are media queries, how do I write them, and uh, uh, what is the minimum width of a mobile device. And he asked me what is position in CSS and what are different values it takes. So I gave him all the different values. I explained him with uh, examples. So then they moved to HTML questions. Uh, he asked me what is uh, doc type. And then another interviewer asked if the inputs have required validation, how do I bypass the validation in HTML? And then he asked a few other questions uh, on HTML, which uh, I'm not recollecting as of now, but they were uh, pretty easy. Uh, then they asked me a few questions on JavaScript, uh, like what are different ways of creating an object and how to add existing uh, like how to add new properties to already created object. I gave him different possibilities here as well. What are the different ways to add new properties? So as a follow up question, uh, he asked me about prototypical inheritance in JavaScript. I answered it. And then uh, another interviewer asked, uh, what is map, reduce and filter? So I explained each of them with uh, examples. Uh, then there were a few other questions on JavaScript. They were also pretty easy. Uh, I am not recollecting them as of now. 
uh, this round was around uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Then I received a call from uh, HR after uh, two hours. I was asked a few questions on uh, why DPS, why I'm leaving my current organization, uh, why I left my previous organization, what is the expected salary. And uh, uh, this was around uh, 20 minutes, uh, just few formal questions. Uh, and then the HR said they would get back to me uh, with the offer letter once all the approvals are done. And after four days, I received a call from another HR to share the offer letter. And yeah, that's it. So if you are a beginner and want to learn React.js, please refer to my React.js playlist. It would be really helpful to understand the basic concepts of uh, React. Um, yeah, so all the best uh, if you are preparing for uh, React interviews and if you like this uh, content, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Interview Pro for more useful content. Thank you.